Hi, this is Ray Wilson of Music from Outer Space, and I'd like to present our latest module, the MFOS Quad Timbre Bank. The MFOS Quad Timbre Bank module is a four-channel fixed filter bank with some nice features. I have a block diagram here. Here we can see that the module routes the input signal through four 12 dB per octave VCFs in a parallel configuration. Each VCF has adjustable cutoff frequency and resonance, and each VCF's output goes through its own VCA. Three of the filters provide selectable bandpass or low pass response, and one of them provides selectable bandpass or high pass response. You can use the module like a fixed filter bank by adjusting each filter's mode, cutoff frequency, and resonance, and then setting the output level of each one manually. So, for instance, right now I have a sequence being fed through here. It's a, an oscillator that's going through a low-pass filter being modulated by an ADSR. But I have that fed into here, and now we can kind of uh, shape that signal with these filters. So I'll just turn up these uh, level controls one at a time, and you'll see what I mean. We'll give that some more gain. Okay, so we can see we're letting some of the low frequencies through because that we have this filter set as a bandpass and its cutoff is quite low. Now this one's a little higher. And this one's higher yet. And then we have this filter set to the high pass response. I'll turn that up. And here when that comes in. And if we want, we can So that's using it as a, a fixed filter bank. You adjust your filters to the mode, cutoff, the resonance that you want, and then you simply adjust the levels. Well now I'm going to demo the range of one of the low pass uh, band pass filters. Now I'm feeding a square wave into one of the uh, into the unit, and I'm going to demonstrate one of the low pass filters and the, the range that you get. I'll go ahead and start turning the cutoff frequency up. As you can see there on the scope. Okay, this is with no resonance turned up at all, and we're in low pass mode. Okay, and you can get a little more gain if you want to. Okay, it's more into the uh, output VCA. Now we'll go ahead and we'll turn our resonance to about halfway, and we'll do that again. And you see we're starting to get more Q around the cutoff frequencies. Go ahead and turn it up some more. Even more. Now we're getting close to oscillation. And the oscillation level is kind of high, so when it busts in the oscillation, let's turn the uh, level down. And we'll go ahead and we'll turn the input signal down. And there we are. Nice sine wave oscillation. You get up to about 10 kilohertz. All right, now we'll go to bandpass mode. Turn this resonance back down. Go to bandpass mode. Turn up the gain some. Go ahead and turn up the cutoff frequency. Well, first we have to turn our signal back on. Okay. And again, we're going to get a bandpass response. So when we finally get to the center frequency of what we're putting in here, you'll see that it, uh, you know, we'll see that uh, fundamental. Now as we turn the um, resonance up, it's like Q, uh, the filter's more selective there in the band, and uh, you'll get more signal in the band. 
Okay, you also get more resonance as you turn the sentinel on. Okay, and we can get sine resonance, but the sign is somewhat distorted when you're in the bandpass mode. As you can see, I'll turn this up a little bit. And we'll turn the signal down. Input signal. But as you see, here I'll turn it down a little more here. But he's he's still clipped. And that's just the nature of the beast. Uh, without really getting, you know, using more op amps and so forth. I'm happy that when you're in the uh, low pass mode, you get a nice clean sine wave. So that's uh, this filter, this filter, and this filter all have the same uh, functionality. Now I'll go ahead and demonstrate the uh, bandpass high pass filter. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the bandpass high pass selectable filter. It's the one that's different from the other three that are uh, bandpass low pass selectable. Now, when the bandpass, uh, or excuse me, when the high pass frequency is all the way down, the cutoff frequency, essentially you're getting uh, the same signal you're putting in. Now, we're seeing a little bit of differentiation because we do have a uh, capacitor coupling the input into the filters. But now, as I increase this, what will be left will just be the high remnants of the signal, in this case, these edges. And I'll show you what I mean. Cut off frequency up. There we go. So we get that high pass response, and higher we go, the less we get, but we still get those edges. Okay, and now that was with no resonance. Now let's turn some of the resonance up. All right, and the resonance will start happening as we start going up. And we're just ringing that filter, and just those edges are, are getting through. So that's the one, the, the filter in the high pass mode. And of course, this has a band pass mode too. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn that up. Now, in band pass, we're, we're below the uh, cutoff frequency of this signal. That's why we're getting nothing, so we have to start going up to find where that's at. We're going to turn this down a little bit, turn down the modulate, or excuse me, the resonance. Go ahead and turn this up. As you see, we'll get the bandpass response. Now, it kind of looks like the uh, high pass, but it's really different because as you see, as we go down, we're moving a band of frequencies. It isn't just the, the frequencies above the cutoff. It's a band that's moving along. Now if we turn this oscillator's frequency up, you see we're having more coming through now, but as you go and you bring the band up really high, that's out of the band. Now when we get into the band with this signal here, Turn this up. Now we're going to increase our resonance or our Q of the filter. And you can see that that's climbing because we're close to the input frequency. And when it's in that band, it gets uh, through the filter most easily. Okay? So that's just that high pass band pass filter. Uh, so essentially, that is uh, the unit. I think there's a lot of good creative uh, possibilities for this, and I think you're going to enjoy this, uh, having one in your synthesizer. You can also put two of these together to make an eight-channel fixed uh, filter bank, or uh, you'd have an octal timbre bank, and uh, I'll have instructions on the web of how to do that. It's very easy. You will need two boards to do that, but you just don't populate the input-output section of the one board and connect them together, as, uh, as I'll show. Well, that's uh, basically it. I really do appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch this. Oh, there's one more thing. I do want to show, I'm going to now demonstrate the uh, modulation of the VCAs. So here we see uh, using an LFO to modulate 
one of the VCAs, in this case we're modulating the one for the bandpass high-pass filter, but all of the VCAs can be modulated like this. And at about plus and minus 5 volts, we're getting full modulation. If you start to turn the level up, those things add, those currents add, and you will start to get more signal. You won't be uh, cutting off your VCA completely. Say when you have that all the way down while you're modulating, you can get that uh, all the way down. Well, that's, uh, that's the module. I think you're going to have some fun with this. I think it has a lot of possibilities. So I hope you get a chance to check it out. It's up on the website and on the MPOS website. Again, this is uh, Ray Wilson for Music from Outer Space, and I want to thank you for watching. Bye-bye.